أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون صدق الله العظيم These are verses 28 and 29 of Surah Yasin. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala spoke about the ultimate end of this world of that person, that Rajul Habib ibn Ismail al-Najjar. He came to the assistance of the envoy or the messengers of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. His concern was his people their Iman, their Akhirat. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala had blessed him and Allah had given him the glad tidings of Jannah and Allah Ta'ala had honored him insofar as the Akhirah is concerned. This world, it may have seemed as though he was abused, it may have seemed as though he was disgraced, ridiculed, but in the eyes of Allah, man kan yuridu al-izza, فَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ جَمِيعًا That whoever desires honor, then all honor only belongs to Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. That is the lesson that we get from that incident with regards to Habib ibn Ismail al-Najjar. Going forward, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ مِنْ جُنْدٍ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ and we did not send down to his people any army from the heavens after him. Now, the destruction of these people, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala shows in that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala's great kudrat, Allah Ta'ala's great might. At the beginning of the incident, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala shows, showed his rahma, Allah Ta'ala shows his mercy. His Rahma and His mercy, people are worshipping idols, they have no goals and objectives in life, they had forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they had forgotten the commitment to Allah Rabbul Izzat, Allah Rabbul Izzat who is the Hadi, who is the guide, through His Rahma, He sends, in this case, the messengers, the envoys, in the general, Allah ta'ala sends Anbiya alayhimu salam, in our case, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala sent our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Ta'ala sent Quran. All of these are great rahmah and great mercies of Allah subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Now here is the might of Allah Rabbul Izzat that Allah Ta'ala says He did not send any great army from the sky to destroy these people of Antakya, of Antioch. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all and everything available to him. But Allah ta'ala says, وَمَا كُنَّا مُنزِلِينَ And we were not going to even do that. There was no consideration of sending any army to destroy these people. But what was it then? إِنْ كَانَتْ إِلَّا سَيْحَةً وَاحِدًا It was just one sayha. Sayha is an unbearable screeching sound. Man, when you hear the sound, like we heard at the time of the Salah, that may become irritable, it may become a little bit unbearable. This is not that type of sound. This is a sound that will take away lives of people. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making reference to this in the other ayats of the Quran. Other nations had been destroyed by one sayha, by one screeching sound. And then we will get on the day of when, when this world comes to an end and the signal of the day of Qiyamah, the Sur. Then again that will be a sound that will kill people. And here Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is showing that there is no physical combat. There are no bombs, there are no bullets. But this is just one sound that will come. There is no physical contact between that sound, the individual and Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala in that way destroys. Now, in another very, very unique way, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala speaks about the result of the sound. 
فَإِذَا هُمْ خَامِدُونَ Then suddenly they were extinguished. Khamid, they were extinguished. What? When we see a flaming fire and then water is poured upon that fire, then that fire is extinguished. It is now dead. And like that, Allah Tabaruk wa Ta'ala uses this word khamidun to show that all the power that they had, their might, all their wealth, all their investments, all their assets, everything that they had was of absolutely no avail to them. It was something that was what we will call non-invasive. And in that way, Allah Tabaruk wa Ta'ala destroyed them. And here Allah Tabaruk wa Ta'ala shows us and Allah Ta'ala more especially the first addressees of the Qur'an, the people of Makkah Mukarramah, that we sent our Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to you. He had come, he was a means of Rahmah, he was a means of mercy. His heart was filled with your compassion, his heart was filled with feelings for you, and he did whatever he had to do. He risked the opportunities, the occasions, when you people had persecuted him, but relentlessly he came to you and he continued coming. But you do not appreciate this Rahmah. And for you and I, it is that Rahmah that Allah Tabaruk wa Ta'ala blessed us with. The Rahmah of the Qur'an Sharif. The Rahmah of our Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Rahmah of the Hadith. That Mubarak pure lifestyle that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam showed us. And sometimes we begin to shun all of this and we move to the lifestyles of others and obviously sometimes we sway away from this path of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala May Allah Ta'ala give us a tawfiq Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi Ashadu wa la ilaha illa wa sallam